So sometimes during construction, things feel like they're not moving forward at all. You show up at the job site and everything is still in the same state that it was two days ago or a week ago. And the fun stuff doesn't really happen until all the drywall goes in and the finishes start going in. So finally, we're in a position to have to start really making decisions on what those finishes are going to be. You think we know better. We've had a year to do this, but of course we haven't. <laughs> so now it's time to make these snap decisions. We've got to pull it all together. Tile, flooring, cabinetry, countertops, and how it's all going to come together. And I'm going to show you a little bit about this. This is pretty much what Design in a Bag is all about and the process that I do with Kitchen Lab every day. And it is incredible how much harder it is to do for yourself. Believe it or not, we actually did not have a hard time with the kitchen, except for the cabinetry. We were on the fence about whether or not to go dark or light, which is a lot of people's dilemma. Uh, but we ended up going with this sort of gray brown charcoal brown gray color on oak uh, we're not doing any wall cabinets so we're going to be running this terracotta tile all the way to the ceiling we're going to be doing a dramatic calicotta countertop not sure yet if we're going to go this dark with the veining or not and we'll take you to the slab yard to help us pick our slabs in a future episode um, and one of the things that came up was whether or not we were going to do a dark wall color in the rest of the house and all the walls at first we thought we were going to go with a pretty dark wall color and then we've sort of gotten away from that and we're definitely away from that now and we're going to go with a lighter wall color. This is Chelsea Gray um, from Benjamin Moore and this is Gray Owl. The Gray Owl may have a little bit too much blue in it so we're going to do a few more swatches to test but uh, this can give you a, a much better idea of what it looks like when they're on large format swatches like this. And these are designed in a bag swatches. You, as you can see it's much easier to see a large format paint swatch than on these little books or on the cards over here. So you probably saw a peak of a turquoise tile in one of the earlier scenes. Well this is the same pattern but in a new colorway. A lot of the tiles that we work with come in so many different tile options and color options and shapes that you have to have samples of what colors you want and the size that you want them in in order to know how it works. This is a perfect example. We debated about doing the turquoise but I was a little scared to do something so permanent on the first floor bathroom, which is our, also our powder room floor, I wanted to do something that was a little more timeless. And so we went with the same pattern, but we customized the colors. And this is our strike off that we got from the company. And a strike off is basically a sample of the tile that you want in the colors that you're choosing, or even just, for example, you get a current strike off of an existing color, just to make sure that the color and the glazes and everything is consistent based on when you saw it the first time. So we're going for a really rich, deep blue on the walls. Um, we're going to go with a color like this, which is Provenance Navy. We're going to do a swatch, a design in a bag swatch for it so that we can see it on a large, large format. For the master bath, uh, the marble floor is going to be this color. It's going to be in a herringbone pattern. We're going to show you that next week um, so that you can see what that actually lays out like and what it looks like and what size it is. Um, and we're thinking about going with this darker charcoal that we wanted to do in the rest of the house, but now we're thinking about doing just in the bathroom. 